Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, hello, my name is Loey. I just switched up my hair part. It was parted over here, which I've been doing recently because my bangs have been pulling a lot on my part and so I've been having some hair breakage over here. So I thought I would change it up and then I changed it back because I hate it when it's parted on the other side. So that was a tangent about my hair because I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I do want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I feel like every single one of these videos I'm so scared and I'm so pessimistic and I'm so like why is this happening to me this is the scariest crap I hate this but at the end of the day I make these videos because I know that you enjoy them and I know you enjoy hearing my story I know you guys find this so interesting but at the same time for me as much as like my my end goal what I live for breathe for do everything in my life for is to entertain you and to make you happy and to take your mind off of your problems for 20 ish minutes a day but talking about it is kind of scary um this is probably going to be the last update for a while and i'm going to explain why the ouija board is still missing i still cannot find it anywhere i don't know where it is i have contacted my really sketchy crazy cleaners about the Ouija board, but we have not been having very positive conversations for the last couple of weeks because of some other things that transpired. So they are not getting back to me about it. I don't know if they threw it away. I don't know if they saw it and put it somewhere weird. I don't know if they took it. Like, I don't know where the Ouija board is. It is gone. I've looked for it everywhere. It is gone. I was thinking that if they threw out the Ouija board, that would make a lot of sense for all of this because you can't like throw away Ouija boards and it kind of co-aligns with all of the bad things happening in this house all of that kind of stuff and it makes me wonder if it was discarded of improperly I don't know and I I know a lot of you were kind of saying like I told you so like don't bring that kind of crap into your house when I was tweeting about it but like I guess I never thought it was a big deal because I thought I was never going to play it. I thought it was just a piece that like matched my creepy aesthetic, like that kind of stuff. I guess the bottom line there is that I knew better, but I also didn't really know better. Like I didn't think it was going to pose a threat to me if I didn't use it, you know what I mean? Still can't find that, that's the real update there. But after I filmed that video, and you guys saw in the video, I was hearing so many noises while filming it. I showed you proof and clips of like purses falling over and me hearing weird noises and things going missing while I was filming other videos, stuff like that. And during that video, there was even a thump right outside my door that I asked my brother like, did you do that? And he said no. Immediately after he knocked on my door because he's being a but but and he's also editing this so hi <laughs> but anyways yeah like it's it was all just so creepy and weird and all of those noises were happening while i was filming it and i was so unsettled especially with the bruises and everything the bruises are still there in case you're curious um i can do a little update if you're curious that is the current state of the bruises the one up here is still here but clearly i have my leggings on so they're healing um, I was again going to film like a bikini try on haul because as you can see I'm in a sweater fall is around the corner I want to finish up my summer videos, but I still have those bruises and I just haven't been able to yet because it like it doesn't hide them at all I tried covering them with makeup and stuff and they're just like they're really really intense They don't really hurt and I think that's the weirdest part is I touch them and they don't hurt which is strange I guess um, but anyway, so still have the bruises all of that and all of those weird sounds were going on I was so on edge that day and that evening um after i had filmed the last video i had filmed two updates previously to that like scary update sort of thing and then i went upstairs to my bathroom and i had a friend over who we're going to name ashley so ashley had been staying with me ashley was the same friend from the last video that was kind of staying with me and stuff and ashley had been hearing things and seeing things the same way that i had little things move out of the corner of her eye things going missing right when she was looking for them and she was only staying for like a day or two um we didn't plan on her staying very long she went up staying through the weekend because i was so freaked out so ashley had taken a shower upstairs and had wrapped up about halfway through my video so i had finished up my video i went out to the kitchen i kind of ate like a protein bar and then i went upstairs to my bathroom to go ahead and get changed because we were actually going to go see annabelle creation that night um because as much as like this creepy stuff freaks me out i love still hearing about it i love watching scary movies that kind of stuff and i picked up i had a calvin klein bralette on the floor and i picked it up to put it on and it was soaked I mean soaking, soaking wet. Now, I've known Ashley for a while. She doesn't just like get out of the shower and dip things into water. And so I was like, I don't understand. And I looked on the floor and there's water 
everywhere. There's water on the sides of the shower, like slipping over onto the floor. There's water on like my toilet seat. There's water on my sink. There's water everywhere. Like the bathroom was literally flooded. I was really, really, really confused and thought that maybe the shower curtain had just gotten lifted or something. So I moved the shower curtain and it was like when Ashley was done taking the shower, she kind of slipped the shower curtain sort of bunched up. Like the plastic part was draped into the shower and then the um, fabric part was sort of like draped onto the like lip of the bathtub. The shower curtain was soaked to the bone, soaking wet. I looked on the inside, it was soaking, soaking, soaking wet. I looked on the side of the shower and realized it was still wet, and it was wet everywhere. The shower had come on and the curtain wasn't closed. So I start mopping up the floor, not really thinking anything of it, just thinking that something must have happened, you know, like maybe there was an accident and she didn't even realize that she'd left the shower on and I would ask her later. Keep in mind the shower is off at this point. If she had accidentally left it on or if it had come on or something, she would have come to turn it off. And so there's no evidence that this has happened except the way that the water is everywhere. And what was even creepier is I had a curling iron plugged in and honestly it was like this close for from getting into the water and that still freaks me out to like <laughs> this very minute because something really bad could have obviously happened. I'm cleaning up the water and I go under the sink to kind of move some clothes out of the way so that I can clean the floor. And here's where this gets really, really, really confusing. There was a pile of clothing under the sink that I had moved out of the way because I needed to do laundry and I haven't done it yet. And so I kind of moved it out of the way, kept it in the same pile so that I knew what to wash when. You get what I mean? It's all already color coordinated. It's just sort of out of the way and under the sink so I can grab it later. Also, I should say, this isn't in a cabinet under the sink. My sink has the cabinet and then there's an under under part that's like the floor. There's like this gap in the floor. So my clothes are under there. I bring them out and they're in the same way that I had left them. Everything on the top of the pile is soaked and everything on the bottom is bone dry. And then that's when I realized that it looked like water had been coming from everywhere. It looked like it had burst from my water pipes from under my sink because the top of the pile was wet. The bottom wasn't. It looked like the toilet had overflowed. Obviously there was nothing in it, but it looked like the toilet had like burst water. It looked like the shower had overflowed. There was water everywhere and there was no discerning exactly where it came from. It did really look like the shower was running and that no one was in the bathroom. I call Ashley in at that point because I wanted to talk to her and she informs me that it had been about 30 minutes since she left the shower. She had not gone back into the bathroom. No water had been running. The water was all set to off in the bathroom. That means within 30 minutes the water was running from like everywhere seemingly in that bathroom. Flooded the floor, covered a lot of my clothing and water in places where it shouldn't have made sense. Like explain that to me. Explain to me how water was coming from all sides logically when I had the plumber come out for the apartment building and nothing is wrong with any of my stuff. Explain that. And the one and only time it happens, like it's that day, that half hour, no other time, no time when I'm in my bedroom, nothing. It just happens right then when I happen to be talking about all of the scary stuff going on in my apartment. I was so creeped out, you guys. I didn't even know what to do with myself. So I literally was like, I gotta get out of this apartment. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. So we wound up going out and hanging out with some friends for a little bit. Um, I saw my friends RJ and Will, who live in the same building as me, and we wound up going to go see Annabelle Creation, which was not great. I gotta be totally honest with you for how freaked out I already was, but my friends really wanted to see it so I was a trooper and we came back and all was well but my dogs were so freaked out it was like my dog Maka has been really on edge lately and growling at nothing when nothing is near her nothing is touching her she's a very temperamental dog and like if you move too close to her she gets mad and she'll move away like she's like she is literally like if you want to like be near her and you kind of graze her she's pissed and like she just has to be in the mood for affection. She likes maybe three people that I can count on one hand. She doesn't like anybody. To me, she's totally normal because that's how I've always known her is to be a little bit temperamental, a little bit weird. But lately it's been like growling at nothing, when nothing touches her, when nothing's going on. 
and I wound up taking her in to go see our primary vet just to say like is there something wrong with her I'm a little bit concerned like she has not quite been herself recently and it was a very quick in and out vet visit because they ran all of her vitals they felt around her they were like no she's totally fine I don't have a carbon monoxide leak by the way we have alarms in this building and I tested for it not that long ago because a lot of people were saying it and honestly even though I knew it wasn't that I ran a test just to be totally sure and I do not have carbon monoxide poisoning in my apartment so nothing is like making my dogs ill or anything like that to the best of my knowledge um the other thing was the flies I live on the fourth floor and I never leave my like balcony open because I'm afraid my cats will jump up and jump out because I live on the fourth floor my windows all have screens and out of nowhere all of these like house flies started appearing you guys are gonna think this is bull but they all were in my bathroom not flying towards anything there's nothing in my bathroom for them to gravitate towards they were just flying around and they don't come downstairs they all stay upstairs and I don't understand how because there's nothing for them to eat there's nothing for them to live on and yet it's like they're all just there and it's really, really freaking creepy. Okay, so I got back from Annabelle and I come into my apartment and my dogs are freaked out. The water has not overflowed again from my bathroom from what I can tell, but I was just at that point like enough is enough. I can't live like this anymore. This is scaring the crap out of me. This is no longer like, here's this really freaky thing that's happening to me and I wanna share it with you guys. It was like, I can't live my day-to-day -day life anymore because I'm so afraid all of the time to exist in my apartment, to be anywhere, to be doing anything. And I just was like, this this is enough. So I sage the apartment. I actually bought sage on Amazon, sage my apartment, walk through and everything. And just, um, I don't like to like talk about religion very much just because I don't wanna offend anybody, but I did pray. And since then, things have been quiet for the most part. Um, nothing really happened and then yesterday I was taking Maka and Annie on a walk and I left the apartment and I closed the door behind me and the door reopened and closed again and I heard it from behind me like reopen and then close again because I had heard it close lock whatever you know what I mean like the door sort of locked into place it did it again and so I turned around and I was like what and I walked back inside and my brother was nowhere in sight of course no one was in sight Ashley has gone home I took them on their walk and that was really it for that just the door kind of opened and then closed again by itself then last night the thing with my motion sensors and my bathroom happened again and that's really it the flies have almost completely disappeared I saw like one or two today but they're almost completely gone I mean and I'm talking there were like 10 to 15 before um, of just flies out of nowhere all upstairs in my bedroom and my bathroom so they're mostly gone I almost forgot about this I just heard footsteps outside my bedroom this morning when I woke up around 8 a.m. and I heard them and I was kind of like oh Christian must be up so I got out of bed I went out to the hallway area and Christian is dead asleep in his room like his door is closed he's asleep I would have heard it if he had gone back into his room there were like footsteps in the hallway kind of near my bedroom. I literally, I don't know. So I'm probably gonna stage the house again. Since it seemed to work really well and the activity went from like 10 million to nothing almost. Um, and then if I can find the Ouija board, I will make another update video and talk about that. If anything else happens from here, I will make more updates, but it does seem like it's finally calming down. So I have a feeling there's not gonna be as many. This has been a really crazy and intense couple of weeks now, I guess. Maybe like, it really only happened over the span of like a week and a half. It was crazy, crazy to witness, but I am very grateful that it has started dying down. I am very grateful that everything seems a little bit better and everything seems okay. This is going to be the last update for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna make like a little playlist called my haunted apartment series since that's kind of what this is now. It's a totally new thing that has been separated from the rest of my like scary and paranormal experiences. I am planning on making some more story times like this, so don't feel like, oh, now I'm gonna unsubscribe because she's never gonna talk about this again. Like, of course the scary videos will continue to come, but that's it for what's happening to me right now, hopefully, fingers crossed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.